Good morning out there. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Oh, it's Monday morning. I should be snuggled up in bed on this, for Texas, rather cool, not quite cold morning. Nope, nope. Had to get up. Huh, who thought Monday mornings ever had people getting up at 7 a.m., huh? Dang, that's hairy. Well, I'm on my way over uh, north part of Fort Worth. Uh, 45 miles away, 50 miles maybe, I don't know, to look at a storage room that's got a lot of records in it that was advertised. Maybe I'll get there first, maybe not. Uh, you know, half the time people will run an ad and you write, have these been picked through? Oh no, of course not. So you go and you learn they've been picked through. Or they say, well, somebody came by and they only bought, you know, 15 or 20 records out of the thousand I have. I know which 15 or 20 were bought. Hey, I also uh, want to thank the folks out here who like and subscribe. That's y'all. Most of y'all. A whole lot of y'all, I hope. Um, stay with us. Hard to run out of content when I don't run out of records to go find. And I do sometimes meet interesting people and such out here. Want to give a quick shout out to a new friend out there, Nate. Nate, thanks for watching. I really appreciate that. You're taking time out from your day and following my videos and uh, big thanks to everyone out there cool 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 I have arrived and I've already started picking out a few records here's what I've got so far a lot of good blues R&B a little bit of soul there we go no, no, no. Put that right back there. Ooh, ooh. Look at that sleeve. Wow. Okay. I gotta get, I gotta get rocking. I think there's other people on their way. Somebody's going to show up in a moment. Oh, did I mention it's cold in here? I did not, did I? Well, it's cold in here. Are a dollar each. Should do well with that. Hopefully I'll stack up a bunch more. So far I'm finding acceptable blues and R&B. Oh, Fred King. I gotta check condition when I mm, I have the nub fingers. Numb finger blues. Lord, I got the numb fingers. I got the numb fingers blues. My circulation, I have you. Well, cool. I made fast work of that uh, table's full of records. Wasn't anything in the 78s, and um, it's pretty dark in there, so I didn't didn't really want to film. 
and nobody else showed up while I was there, so I was indeed first, as I should be in everything in life. Except for dying. I'm going to put that off. Ah, so, I found some stuff that I know what it is, and then I found some stuff I don't know what it is, but look, I got stuff like this. I don't know what that is. The skylight's on JAS. Yes. A really neat looking diamond record, uh, international brand. I'm not sure where that's from. Uh, oh, Hong Kong, it says. Nice. Same there, color tone records, picture sleeve. Hold on, pop that metal or that little center out. I don't know what this is, but I'll tell you what, it's from 1968, July 7th. And it looks good, the Technomaniacs. I mean, that just, that just looks great. I don't think this is anything. I always try to buy Otis Rush. And see, this is nice. Silver top. Muddy waters. Think that's going to be country. I didn't even play these. I just stacked them up at a dollar a piece. This is a good looking Fort Worth uh, gospel record. Really good one. Decent soul record, which is a uh, Hank Cochran song. Willie Nelson recorded it. John Lee Hooker. Have no idea who that is. I'm hoping this is something nice. That is just neat. I like that they have written on it noise in pencil there. Percy Mayfield, really good looking peacock red wax. Little Walter. Oh, this is a treat always. The Howlin' Wolf. Jimmy McCracklin. Freddie King. I don't know that one. It's probably Pop. Barry Gordon. Another buddy guy. He did a record call, record by uh, uh, another name. He did a pseudonym record as not Buddy Guy, but Friendly Chap. <laughs> okay, an instrumental, Gone All Stars, Barbara Lewis. I don't know if that's good soul or not. Bo Diddley, Chuck Berry, J.B. Lenore. I found a copy of that about two days ago. Louisiana Red, a lot of blues and R&B, Sonny Boy Williamson. This is one of those sound alikes Another one of those sound alikes but it's Jailhouse Rock. We'll see how bad that is. Rock, rock and R&B by Lewis Jordan, Soul Partner. I don't know that one. And Lightning Hopkins. So I'm happy. I'm going to maybe do a little bit more looking around, uh, just avoiding people. I'm glad it was just that guy there and nobody else. Because in a little storage unit, I don't want to be standing in there with 15 huffing, sweating, talkative record folks. Yeah. So anyway, let's keep going. I've got a huge antique mall just north of here that I need to go to. I think I'll do that. Let's go to a little book record store here close by. Take a look, see what we can find. I always like to check this place. I found one of the best 45s ever here. The Teen King's Ubi Dooby, which is Roy Orbison on Jewel. Very rare. And that was 50 cents. Country. Sometimes you'll find it, you know, something with those RCAs. Well, okay, no luck there, but let's continue on. I've got to get back to the house reasonably quick because I might have a super long trip to do tomorrow if I get the phone call clearing me to go. And I'm hoping that happens. If so, I'll have to get up at 3 a.m. or some such hour. But I hope it happens. We'll see. Well, all right, let's... Let's check out this mega antique mall. 
I've had some pretty good results here over the years. But it, um, well, I better figure out my pattern here. Yeah, okay, I'll do what I was doing. This one looks to have been changed around a bit, which is encouraging news. Oh, well, it says do not touch. Guess I'd better not mess with it. Remember, the rules are our friends. Follow all the rules. Stay in the lines. <laughs> Been here a few times. This looks like it might be a new box. I know up there I've seen all of those probably a few times over. Some older things, but mostly Edison's. That's not good. Oh my! No! No! Well, shoot! Looky here. Dollar each. Dollar each. Good. I think I've seen these. Had to go over there and turn that dang AM radio off that nobody was listening to. Spouting all sorts of politics. I just didn't want to have to hear that. Heard enough as it is lately. York Brothers. There's old Jerry Lee Lewis. You know something. For a dollar, I'll buy that. If I sell it for just ten dollars, I made ten times my money. Tell me the fallacy of that. I mean, not every record can be a $200 record or a $4,000 Northern Soul record. But I won't turn my nose up at a stack of $10 records. Um, Eddie Cochran, come on, everybody. You know... Label tear, and it's got that damn sticker, but that's still worth a buck. Buddy Holly's worst record, now we're one. Fight me on that. Who's Ruth Christie? I do not know.
Little Perkins. Nah, a little too rough. Millions of those around too. What is that? Oh, okay. Country record, definitely. Enough interesting records here to keep looking. Some of these I know I've seen before. Uh, it's got some heat damage. That's not good. Well, them damn I have records. Okay. Yeah. there. Might look it up in a bit. Okay, this is neat. 78 RPM case. That's that's cool. I'm getting that for sure. I mean, ain't no doubt. Well, cool. Got the come on everybody that hopefully that stuff will clean out. Otherwise, it's pretty pretty nice shape label tear i did go ahead and get ruth christie it's a tide record and she's got a couple of really good ones on that label and then of course jerry lee can't pass that up for a buck come on so you know all this adds up to another meal at water burger and perhaps a tank of gas to boot and that's what's important eating at water burger no they're not an official sponsor I'm just addicted to those hamburgers. I know there's probably better ones out there, but this is a chain all around Texas and they're easy to find. Hard to find a better one though. I don't know why we're doing commercials for Whataburger. Well, okay, I've had a successful day, very short day. I've got to run home, uh, get some orders together, go to the post office, and then go play The Last of Us Part Two, which I got a couple of days ago. I like that game. Here there's going to be a TV show coming out. I hope it turns out good and doesn't fall into the traps The Walking Dead did. You know, I was well into The Walking Dead until, I don't know, after the fifth season or so. Eh, season five, episode one was really great though, huh? So, hopefully all works out good there. Yada, yada, yada. I found a billion more records. And we all live happily ever after. So, thanks for coming by. And uh, y'all are great. Be good.